Leveling up in Borderlands is an illusion. It's not real, and it's really just meant to trick you into feeling like you're becoming a better player when things aren't really changing. When you turn on the game Borderlands, you have a character. They're a certain level. You kill some things, and you have little numbers popping up on their head. Sometimes you shoot something in a critical point, and it lets you know it's a critical hit. That feedback lets you know how much damage you're doing to what creatures, and where you should be shooting them to be doing more damage. These numbers are an underlying core motivation that teaches you how well you're actually doing in the Borderlands game. As you continue to shoot these people, eventually you'll build up enough experience points where you will level up and they will also die and drop off new guns, which will help you also get stronger besides having the extra health and the extra skill point to put into a perk. Now, although you have more damage and you have more health, the thing is, you're not really that stronger. Here, let me explain. Have you ever played Borderlands to a point where you feel overleveled, where you've killed so many things that all of a sudden the challenge and the strategy and the tactics that you employed before now just kind of don't need to be done. You can just shoot a thing and they're dead. See, this is a problem for a game like Borderlands where players can basically overlevel themselves into having no fun. Now as a game designer, in order to combat this, you have to consistently level up your opponents so that when the player comes up and starts fighting them, they still feel challenged and a sense of achievement for kicking ass. So that means that there's a bit of a balance that you're always maintaining and this balance can be demonstrated in what is known as a flow channel. Now here you go, the flow channel. You can see on the x-axis you have the player level and on the y-axis you have the enemy level. As the player level increases, you can see that we start to move into the too easy range if you don't increase the enemy level at the right pace. You increase the enemy level too quickly, then we run into the same problem where it becomes too hard. That's what creates the flow channel, that just right feeling, almost a Goldilocks situation. So as you see here, the thing that happens is that although you're leveling up, so are your enemies, so that you maintain the same amount of challenge and difficulty and fun as you continue to move up. This is what the illusion's all about. They create this sort of sensation that you're actually getting stronger, but you're also being met with enemies who are at the exact same level as you. Now this isn't a negative thing. In fact, you can consider this to be what makes a game like Borderlands so motivational. Here, let's say you're at a gym and you're lifting a barbell. And as you're lifting weights, you're lifting a 10 pound weight. And as you lift that 10 pound weight, you begin lifting a 15 pound weight because that 10 pound weight was a little too easy. And then after you've done that 15 pound weight for a little while, now you move up to 20. Alas, this is the experience of a Borderlands player. You kill some things, certain level, and then uh, you start lifting at the higher weight, killing those harder things, bigger enemies in that kind of situation. Now, if you didn't know how much you were actually lifting, what I mean is that if someone was giving you barbells but not telling you how heavy they actually were, you couldn't see the size change, and really all you had was to watch yourself maybe get stronger and have a physical change from the effects, you wouldn't really know what's happening you wouldn't feel like you're getting stronger, you would just be consistently lifting a weight of the same difficulty. You don't have the numbers over the heads of your enemies popping up to give you that extra feedback to let you know what damage you're doing. Now lifting weights like that would be incredibly demotivating. If you're going to be playing Borderlands like this, this would also be demotivating. Really, you'd only be able to tell that maybe your enemies have gotten bigger, maybe there are more of them, but in the end, you wouldn't really know that you're becoming a better player. The thing is, this Borderland illusion is actually what makes the game so fun to play because you are getting better as a player. You're getting more precise in the same way that you're able to lift more weight, or you're getting more intelligent, more tactical in the same way that you can now do more reps as you're exercising. Now, this Borderland illusion is something you can apply to other things besides the game Borderlands or lifting weight. It's since it's an illusion, it can really be applied to anything where you have to count a change. Take for an example if you were trying to write a book. Ah, we can see that I have a Google Sheet here, level zero, with a couple dates and date words. What if I was to write 200 words in a day? Well, it turns out my total experience is increased to 200. I am at 0.2 level. Well, what if I was to write 800 words the next day? My total experience is at 1,000, and now I'm at level one. By providing feedback, little numbers over the heads of our enemies that we shoot, weight increasing in our hands, or having the number increase on a Google Sheet that lets you know how many words you've written down, you can get the feedback that lets you know that you are growing in competency. This is an illusion. It's not actually a judge of my increase in skill, but the symbolic representation of it is something that motivates me to continue to play the game, lift the weights, or write the words.
So take this illusion and use it as you see fit to motivate yourself to do something for yourself in the real. See you. If you're looking for other videos to help you out become a little bit more cool using gamification, check out the second real video that talks about iterative design, or you can check out dead cells and how you can use ancillary goals to achieve big things. See you again.